Hi there. Welcome in that um, uh, video tutorial to show you the Golem for Katana plugin. So that uh, Katana plugin allows you to see your caches within Katana and uh, render them with Arnold and Renderman. It also handles shading assignment. So uh, I'm going to treat uh, shading assignment in a different video. I'm, I'm just going to show you here how you can just load your simulation within Katana. Um, I'm running uh, Golem 6.2.1 and uh, I already exported like a, a simulation here with a couple of characters avoiding each other and just hanging around into the environment. So um, let's say I'd like to bring this into Katana. Um, <clears throat> when you export your scene, you ended up with a simulation cache proxy node and uh, that simulation cache proxy node is connected to a crowd render proxy node, which handles all the parameters which will um, tell you what you should render. So those are the rendering parameters. So what I would like to do is uh, bring those into Katana. So if you check the crowd render proxy now, it has a Katana attributes uh, panel where you can uh, figure out a directory in which you could export a file. So um, here I'm going to export the file on the on the desktop. So it says that it has exported an XML file, and that XML file, if we just take a quick look to it. Um, just shows you um, the different parameters which will be um, used for the rendering uh, plugins. So it tells you where are the cache, what are the parameters for the motion blur, the first time filling, and so on and so forth. So now I can jump into Katana here. I'm having like a super simple scene where I just put a, um, a light and a camera. And uh, if I'd like to bring uh, a golem cache, I can just create like a golem cache node here, uh, merge that with the rest. And uh, if you take a look at that Golem cache node, it has the exact same attribute than the one I just showed you within Maya. So obviously here what you would like to do is fill those fields and those attributes uh, with the same values. And to help you with that, as we exported that XML file, we can use the shelf action here and say that we want to uh, feed the Golem cache up node from an XML file. So it's going to prompt you where you would like to load that XML from. And as soon as you load it, it should like fill every single attribute you have in here. If we expand uh, the scene graph, now we ended up with a golem cache node there, and that golem cache node um, handles the display and the rendering side. Right now it's saying you that um, the frame one is not exported because we're in golem, the first frame can't be exported. But if I just switch the time, I just ended up with the display for my characters. Um, the nice thing about that node is that I can now uh, like, uh, uh, transform it, it's uh, fully supported, I can scale, trans uh, translate it, it's fully supported. So as soon as I um, just uh, switched the frame, I ended up with a crowd field node. So every time you got a crowd field into your simulation, you get a separate node. I can expand that and see the different entities which are composing my crowd field as well. I also ended up with a, a render procedural node, which will, um, depending on the rendering engine you're going to use, um, tell the rendering engine that there is a golem crowd sim. So if I go with an Arnold here and uh, I do render, oops, and I um, put myself on the final node, it will create a render procedural uh, node with an Arnold and, uh, and the Arnold should render it straight away. So here it is. Right now it's orange because I haven't done any shading assignment. Uh, and if I go to render man, that should do the same. And here the default shader within render man will just be that white shader. So, so far so good. If you check the render log, you should get information about um, shaders not being found. Uh, the version of the plugin or whatever error you may have will be displayed into the render log. Um, you can obviously change whatever attribute you want to, what's the cache you want to um, uh, play, what are what is the layout file you want to load. Uh, parameters for motion blur, thrust ramp killing, and uh, everything which is related to subdivision, uh, and so on. So that's it for now. I hope you uh, hope you like it, and see you in the next video for a shading assignment.